There may be some habits that are secretly harming your skin that you may not be aware of. Sadly your skin cannot talk and the undesirable effects manifest much later. Before watching the video consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell icon to be notified whenever I publish a new video. Today we look at some of those do's and don'ts about skin care and how to correct and adjust accordingly. So here are the things our skin hates. 1. You sometimes use sunscreen. Always. It should be always sunscreen, as in every time you go outside, rain, shine, cold, crappy, it doesn't matter. If there's daylight, there are ultraviolet rays, in fact, even when the clouds are blocking your sun, up to 80% of the sun's harmful UVA and UVB can penetrate your skin. You know skin cancer is the most common cancer in the US, an estimated 1 in 5 Americans will develop it in their lifetime. You also know too much sun will age your skin faster. UVA rays are the cause of many wrinkles, dark spots, and skin sagginess. What you may not realize, however, is that excessive sun exposure can damage special immune cells in the skin. These immune cells combat infection, help prevent the reactivation of certain viral conditions like cold sores, and target certain pre-cancerous and cancerous cells. 2. You sunscreen after you're outside. The bottle you're using says, SPF 30 or higher and it's broad spectrum. That means it protects your skin from both UVA aging rays and UVB burning rays and may also be water resistant. This is all excellent. But for your sunscreen to do its job properly, it needs to be applied 15 minutes before you head outdoors, so your skin can fully absorb it. In the time it takes you to find the perfect spot on the beach, set up your chair, move to a better spot, open your umbrella, and then grab the sunscreen, your skin is unprotected and can burn. Also, be sure to use enough sunscreen to generously cover all of your exposed skin, and don't forget to reapply at least every two hours, or immediately after swimming or excessive sweating. 3. You use a washcloth. Not only is a washcloth way too harsh for your face, but the washcloth scrubs off oils we need on our bodies. Ditch the washcloth, your hands are fine to lather up your body, and stick to fingertips for your face. And as good as that steady stream of shower water feels, limit it to 10 minutes at a lukewarm temp, long, hot showers dry your skin. 4. You put soap on that washcloth. Your skin hates you twice as much now. Gentle or non-soap cleansers are the way to go. Soap has a high pH, which strips away natural oils and basically destroys the skin. Products with scrubbing beads and grit can be too abrasive as well. When you over-exfoliate or overuse toners in an effort to make your skin less oily, your body compensates and creates an overproduction of oil. This essentially defeats the purpose. 5. Moisturizing isn't part of your post-shower routine. When your skin is damp really is the best time to moisturize. Moisturizers work by trapping existing moisture in your skin. Ointments and creams the kind you find in a jar or tub are more effective than lotion. They help soften and smooth skin, and most importantly keeping it intact. The skin is our first line of defense against infections, it helps block bacteria, viruses, and fungi from entering the body. Moisturizing regularly helps prevent microscopic cracks and breaks in the skin from developing, which compromises this barrier function. Some beneficial ingredients to look for are olive or jojoba oil, ceramides, lactic acid, urea, hyaluronic acid, dimethicone and glycerin. 6. You believe toothpaste helps acne. The truth is that toothpaste doesn't cure acne. An alcohol-based toner and astringent isn't going to make that pimple go away either. And you know what else isn't true? That you should pour a bunch of hydrogen peroxide on a cut or scrape to clean it out. Those old wise tales just irritate your skin even more. For acne try using a benzoyl peroxide based product. 7. You never clean your cell phone. Research has shown the average cell phone has more germs than a public bathroom door handle. A toilet seat had about three different types of bacteria, while the cell phones had an average of 10 to 12 different strains of bacteria. As you push that dirty phone up against your face to talk, you're swirling bacteria and oil into your pores. Make sure to regularly clean your phone with appropriate alcohol wipes. 8. You're a chocoholic. Whether or not eating it will make you break out is still up for debate, but what experts do know is that overeating sugar can leave your skin dull and wrinkled. As you indulge in your favorite flavor of ice cream, cake, and candy bar, sugar molecules bind to proteins in your skin, causing damage to the fibers that keep skin firm and elastic. 
This then leads to wrinkles and sagginess. 9. You think beauty sleep is funny. You can't help it, anytime someone say they have to get their beauty sleep, you giggle. But it's so not a punchline. Your skin is constantly making new cells below the surface, and this process speeds up during sleep. When you don't get enough rest, skin cells have less opportunity to regenerate. Additionally, stress hormones increase, which can contribute to inflammation. So when you hear it's time to get some beauty sleep, stifle and hit the sack. Research has shown people who get uninterrupted, quality sleep show half as many signs of aging as poor sleepers, including fewer fine lines, better elasticity, and more even tone. The ideal time is 7 to 9 hours. So there you have it. Hopefully you are not engaging in any of the 9 things your skin hates. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. See you next time.